What's up, legend? So, of course, we got a huge, huge release coming this weekend. We got the Yeezy 700 V3 in the Azure colorway. Now, if you know me, then you know this. You know I'm definitely not afraid to grab an early pair if I can find it at a good price. And you also know that I'm a huge fan of the Yeezy 700 V3 silhouette in general. That's my favorite silhouette. I think it's the best one yet. So today I want to kind of take a look at the market and see what type of prices are going for the Azurif right now. Is it worth copping an early pair right now? Or should we just wait and try to catch a W on release date? Now me personally, I know that this is a must cop. I think that the Azurif may possibly be the shoe of the year. I think it's a really close battle between the Quantum and the Azurif, of course. But I just feel like this is a new feel for Yeezy. This is Yeezy going in another direction with one of the newer silhouettes. Of course, we've been looking for new colorways for the V3. And it's like that first all blue Yeezy. Like it's something to really look forward to. And I think everybody's going for these. Even people that aren't the biggest Yeezy fans, they're going for them. All the resellers are going for these because they know how high the anticipation is. So be aware of the bots. And, you know, I think that this is just going to be a huge release and a big moment for the Yeezy brand. Me personally, these are a must cop. So even if I don't hit and catch an L on Yeezy Supply or Adidas, I'm definitely copping them resale immediately. My go-tos for early pairs are either the GOAT app or StockX. Now, I can say this. StockX, in my experiences recently, especially due to everything that's going on in the world right now, it's very possible that you're gonna experience delays. So it's really like a hit or miss. So I would say it's likely that you could get them within a week or two weeks. You never really know with StockX, you kind of gamble, especially during this time, because it's been a lot of delays. It seems like they may be short staffed, but I can say that as far as verification goes and authenticity, in my experiences, I haven't had any issues. As far as the GOAT app, I would say the GOAT app is really my go-to. That's always my first option, but it's always important to kind of compare the prices and see which situation would be the best for you. I would say that the GOAT app has still been reliable. You have the instant ship option where you can pay a little more to guarantee that you get them immediately. As far as the sellers go, they've shipped everything out pretty quickly. GOAT has been able to verify them pretty quickly and it's been delivered extremely quickly as well. We'll take a look at the GOAT app first because like I said, that's pretty much my go-to. GOAT app. And you see it's in my recent search already. So the Azurif, okay. As you can see, I got the want right there. So right now we are looking at 688 on the GOAT app. Now I wear anywhere from, I would say a 10 and a half to an 11 and a half. So I like to look at all of those prices. So for the 10 and a half, we're looking at about 670. For the 11, we're looking at 688. And for the 11 and a half, we're looking at 750. So I would say that this is definitely not worth it. You know, usually an early pair is around 350 or $400, especially during the same week as the actual release. I mean, one of the other options that you always have on GOAT is to set an offer. So let's say for instance, if I wanted the size 11, so as you can see, it shows the top offer right now that somebody has. So all of the sellers can always accept that top offer. And you can also set your own offer. So here it's always good to go with the top offer because once a seller chooses to say, well, let me go ahead and go a little lower and take an offer. Yours will be pretty much first on the list and you will be able to get that pair. So what GOAT does is basically binding offers. Let's say if I said, uh, I'm only willing to pay 450, right? So if I'm only willing to pay 450, I can set my offer by clicking next. And at that point, it'll be a binding offer. So I would basically put in my payment information and then go ahead and set that offer. So if a seller does choose to accept it, it'll be automatically purchased and charged and taken out of your account. And the shoe will be on its way to you. 
like I said, for me personally, I don't think these prices are worth it. So we'll go ahead and go over to StockX and let's see what they have to offer. All right, so we're going to StockX now. Right here for the size 11, the lowest ask is at 635. So it's crazy. As you can see here, uh, it's been a couple pairs sold for 426 was the last sale so it was actually a pair that was sold on StockX for 426 dollars that's definitely the type of deal that i would take for sure 635 is just way too much you're probably going to get them after the release date at this point especially with the v3 being priced only at 200 dollars really don't think this would be worth it as well i don't know i would say overall the consensus is it's really not worth it for me to go ahead and grab an early pair at this point just because of one when it comes to stock x it may be delayed i might end up getting the shoes two weeks from now when they actually drop on saturday and then as far as goat goes i feel like the price is just too high i think the price is too high for both of them so we are definitely going to go ahead and try to go for the retail pair now for those of you that don't know these will only be a Yeezy supply and Adidas exclusive. So as far as the Adidas sale goes, they haven't announced whether it'll be a splash page or a raffle, but you can definitely expect for that news to be dropped very soon within the next day or two. And as far as Yeezy supply, you definitely gotta be ready and on guard for that drop. Usually they like to do it before the Adidas sales. You should be prepared around 8.30 to 8.45 because they like to drop around 9 a.m. So you definitely just wanna be prepared and ready. So the way that I usually cop manually, which has been working for me so far, I usually use two Chrome users, two separate ones, and one Safari. So if you have a Windows computer, you'll wanna use two Chrome users and one Internet Explorer or one Firefox or something like that. And I can tell you, the Safari is usually the one that hits. So yeah, definitely gonna try my luck and hopefully we can get a W on this one. Now I also want you guys to tell me uh, about the Israfil drop last weekend. Who got a W? You guys go ahead and leave me a comment and tell me who got a W. For me personally, I actually passed on those. Um, I really didn't even try to cop them. I do think it's still a dope colorway though. Definitely fire, especially if it's your first 350. I think that that was a good cop to get. It's a very versatile colorway, very vibrant. I think it does stand out. But for me, man, the 350 wave is kind of dying on me. I would say the Azriel that's coming up in September might be my last 350, unless they come out with something that's just ridiculous. I think that's probably going to be the last 350 V2 that I end up copping until the V3 comes out. That's pretty much it on this one, man. If you guys aren't already, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video and leave a comment. Tell me, do you feel like it's worth it to buy an early pair? And also just tell me like, did you get a W? Did you catch an L on the Israfil drop? Also, man, definitely going to be continuing the On The Spot series on the channel. I got a lot of great guests lined up. Looking forward to come on and kick it with the legends. So definitely look forward to that. And just make sure that you guys tune in to the Easy Talk podcast every single Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time with my bro, John Alexander, my brother, Prince Mark Anthony, as well as my little bro, St. Kansas. We also rate Easy Fits at the end of the program. So if you haven't before, make sure you tag us in your best Yeezy fit so we can feature you on the program. And I'll leave everybody's Instagram in the description below. All right, you guys, man, thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video. Thank you to all the legends that are subscribed to the channel so far. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Salute, legends.